Welcome to CurseBreak.com. My name is Fernando Perez, and I'm so glad you're here. Today, I am taking this time to pray with you for your miracle in Jesus' name. If you are in need of a miracle in any area of your life, then I would ask you to join me in prayer right now, and let's believe God for the releasing of your miracle. Amen? The Bible says in Luke chapter 1 and verse 37, for nothing will be impossible with God. Also, Luke chapter 18 and verse 27, the Bible says, but Jesus said, what is impossible with a man is possible with God. Amen. And so if you are in need of a miracle, if you are believing God to change a situation in your life, let us join our faith right now. Let's call upon his name. Let's stand in his word that your situation will change for the glory of his name. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, today I am standing in prayer with this man and this woman, and I'm praying, Father God, that you release a miracle into this person's life. I know, Father God, there are people praying with me right now that they are in desperate need to see a change in their families. They need to see a change in a relationship, in their finances, in their job, in their body. Father God, whatever it is that they are calling upon your name, I stand in agreement with them, and I ask you, Father God, that you release a miracle today. I declare and I decree that today, as we call upon your name, you are changing our lives. You are changing our situations for the glory of your name. Father, I ask you for every impossible situation to bow to to your name. I declare and I decree that every mountain that stands on this man, this woman's way, we command this mountain to be removed. We ask, Father God, release miracle, release salvation, deliverance, healings, breakthroughs, release this miracle, Father. If there's anything in the spiritual realm resisting, fighting against this man, this woman, fighting against them, Lord God, that to scores them. I declare this thing broken from their lives. I pray that you remove, Lord God, every hopelessness, Lord God, every uh, spirit of, of sadness and oppression, everything that is trying to discourage them from believing in your word, from believing in the promise that is found in your word. I rebuke in Jesus' name. I pray you strengthen them, Lord God, Touch them from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet. I pray, Lord God, that today let miracles come on their way. I declare miracles in their family. This family that is in desperate need to see a change. I ask you, Father, touch this family and everything that needs to be put back in order. I speak order. I speak healing to this family. I speak restoration to this family in your precious mind name. Also, this man, this woman that's in need of a miracle in their relationships, I pray, Father God, that you touch their relationship. I pray that you heal their relationship. I pray that you remove people that don't need to be in their lives, and I pray that you bring new people into their lives. I pray that you bring them, that you surround them with godly people, with people that will help them, people that will be a blessing to their lives. I pray that you heal, that you restore every relationship, Lord God, that needs to be restored in their lives. I declare a miracle in their relationships. I pray, bless them, open a door, strengthen them, Father, God. In your precious name, I pray. Also, Lord God, I ask you for their finances, for their job, for their career. Touch their finances. Touch their job. Lord God, I pray for a miracle. I pray for provision. I pray for increase. I pray for, Lord God, promotions. I pray for provision. Let provision come to this man and this woman. Father, I bless them. I pray that you make a way where seems to be no way. I declare a miracle into their finances, in their career, in Jesus' name. Also, I pray that you heal 
heal this man, this woman's body. Father, whatever it is that they need in their body that needs to be healed, that needs to be restored, I pray touch their body because your word declares that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And so I pray that you heal the body, that you remove all sickness, all infirmity, all disease, all bacteria, Lord God, all infection, every cancer, every tumor, everything that is not that is not working in this body. We ask for your healing power to touch this body and to restore this body. I speak healing from the top of their head to the bottom of their, of their feet. And I thank you for what you're doing today. I declare, I prophesy that this day is a day of miracle. I declare the miracle is coming on their way today in your precious mighty name. Amen and amen. So today I'm standing in prayer with all of you who are believing God for a miracle to happen in your life. Amen. Maybe you need a prayer for a miracle in your family, maybe in your finances, in your marriage, maybe a healing upon your body. Uh, maybe you need to pass an exam, a victory in court case, business success, whatever area in your life that you are in need of a miracle. I want to stand with you according to the word of God and I want to pray with you, believing God for your miracle to come today as we pray. Amen. Uh, before I pray with you, I want to share the word that is found in Jeremiah chapter 32 and verse 27. The Bible says, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. Also, Jeremiah chapter 33, in verse 3, the Bible says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and I will show you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Amen. And so let's call upon the name of the Lord, because as we call on his name, he will answer. Amen. And so would you please join me in prayer right now? Lift up the area that you are in need of a miracle. I want you to present that situation to the Lord. Ask the Lord to touch this area in your life that you need to experience a miracle. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your son Jesus, today I am standing in prayer with this precious man, with this precious woman. Father God, we call upon your name because your word declares in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call to me and I'll answer you and I'll tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. And so we are calling upon your name. Father God, I'm standing in prayer with all of them. I know that there are people in desperate need, Lord God, for a miracle in the family. Lord God, I agree with this man. I agree with this woman. I ask you, Father God, that everything that is out of alignment, everything, Father God, that is out of order, everything, Father God, that needs to put back in order in this family, Family. Lord God, I pray that you touch this family, that you heal, that you restore, that you bring them together, Father God, as, as, as a family. I pray, Lord God, that love will prevail in this family. I pray, Father God, that you remove, Lord God, every wall of division and confusion and strife and fights. Father God, I pray for unity. I pray, Father God, that you bring unity into this family and that you heal and that you restore restore this family in your precious mighty name. We know, Father God, that you are the God of all flesh, and there is not a situation that is too hard for you. Father God, we thank you, because even now, as we pray, Lord God, your power, your anointing is coming upon this family. Everything that the enemy is trying to split, to separate, Lord God, I declare broken the walls of division, the walls of separation, I declare broken by the power 
in the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I speak restoration to this family in your precious mighty name. Also, I am praying for the finances of this man, this woman. Father God, that there are people praying with me right now that they need to see a miracle in their finances. They need, Lord God, an immediate miracle in the finances. And I agree with them. I ask, oh, Father God, that you open a door for this man, for this woman. Lord God, I pray for money to come into their hands to pay their bills, to pay Lord God for what they need to pay for. I pray, I call money, Lord God, from the four corners of the earth. Let your blessings, let the gates of heaven, let the windows of heaven be open even now and let blessings, financial blessings, financial miracles, financial breakthroughs come upon this man, this woman, even now as we pray. We rebuke, Lord God, every spirit spirit of lack poverty, everything that is trying to hinder this man, this woman to walk in provision, to be able to walk in the blessings of heaven. We rebuke in Jesus' mighty name and we pray, Father God, bless their finances, bless, Lord God, their jobs. I pray, Lord God, for new jobs. I pray for new opportunities. I pray, Father God, for favor in the marketplace. I pray for favor, favor with you, O God, favor with man. I pray that you bless them in the land of the living. I pray, Father God, make this situation, Lord God, change for the glory of your name. I pray, Lord God, for success, Lord God, in the workplace. I pray for favor in the workplace. I pray, Father God, that you place this man, this woman in front of the right people at the right time for the right purpose. I declare and I decree the finances are coming in even now as we pray, we ask, Father God, remove all the hindrances, remove all the barriers, remove, Lord God, every blockade, everything that blocks blessings and financial breakthrough to come into this man and into this woman. I declare freedom. I declare deliverance, financial deliverance, even now in your precious mighty name. I pray, Father God, that to lead them, Lord God, into finance, lead them, Lord God, into prosperity. I pray, Father Lord God, that people will, Lord God, get supernatural miracle, Lord God, financial breakthroughs that they have not seen before. I pray that they'll be able to find money. I pray that they'll be able to find lost treasures. I pray that they'll be able to find, Lord God, a way, Lord God, to come out of this situation. I pray, Lord God, for favor, favor increase in your precious mighty name. Also, I pray for this man, this woman that is experienced experiencing, Lord God, marital problems. I pray, Lord God, for a miracle in this marriage. I declare and I decree that the enemy will not destroy this marriage, Lord God, with a divorce, with a separation, with betrayals, infidelity. We rebuke the devil. We say, devil, come out of this marriage. We say, devil, come out of this family. In Jesus' mighty name, I speak grace. I speak strength. I speak, Lord God, healing into this marriage marriage in your precious mighty name. Bring the right people, Lord God, to surround them, Lord God, with the right people that will be able to help them, to counsel them, to be able to speak life into them. I declare, Lord God, deliverance upon this marriage and everything the enemy is trying to destroy. We break the power of the enemy even now in your precious mighty name. Also, I pray for a miracle for this man, this woman that longs to get married. Lord God, there are people listening to this prayer right now that they cannot wait to find that godly spouse, that godly man, that godly woman, Lord God, that spouse that they've been praying for. I come in agreement with them and I ask, Lord God, for divine direction. I pray for divine connection. I pray that you connect them to to the people that they are supposed to get married. To the people that they'll be able, Lord God, to come together as a family.
family, Lord God, as they get to know each other. I pray, Lord God, for a blessed marriage. I pray for a blessed relationship. I pray that you bring somebody, Lord God, that fears you, somebody that loves you, somebody that when they come together, both, they will be powerful in the land. They will be mighty in your hand. I bless this man and this woman that wants to be married. I pray, bless them, open a door, make, Lord God, the situation to change for the glory of your name. Also, I pray for this man and this woman of Lord God that is in desperate need, Lord God, of healing upon their body. There are people listening to this prayer right now, Father God. They are struggling with pain in the body. They are struggling with infirmity, sickness. They are spending all their money, Lord God, on in doctors and prescription drugs, and they are still bound with sickness. Father, we rebuke sickness from this body. Your word declares that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The, our body is not the temple of sickness, infirmity, and disease. And so I speak healing into this body. I command in the name of Jesus that every organ, I command every cell in this body to receive life, to receive strength, to receive a touch from heaven. I speak healing upon this body and I cast out pain, infirmity, sickness. Go in Jesus' name. Live in Jesus' name. Come out of this body in Jesus' name. I speak healing from the top of the head to the very bottom of their feet. I declare and I decree that this man, that this woman will live and will not die in Jesus' mighty name. I declare and I decree healing, wholeness coming upon this man, this woman in your precious mighty name. Father, I pray for everyone that needs to pass on an exit. Exam. I pray, bless them, bring to their memory everything that they have studied, everything that they need to know in order to be successful in this exam. I bless them, I declare the peace of Christ coming upon them, and I declare and I decree that they will pass on this exam in Jesus' mighty name. Also, I pray for those who are in need of a victory in court cases. Father God, everyone of them that they are in need of a miracle in a court case. Bless them. Open the door. I pray, Lord God, put the right people, the right judge, the right person in front of them. Bless them, Lord God. I pray for favor. I declare favor upon this man, favor upon this woman. Let them, Lord God, walk out, Lord God, of the court in victory for the glory of your name. I declare victory. I speak victory. I declare all fear, Lord God, all Worry, I declare broken off this man, this woman, in your precious mighty name. Also, for their business, Lord God, I pray that you bless their business. Lord God, this man, this woman, that long to be fulfilled, long to be, Lord God, successful in their business. I pray bless their business prosper their business, increase their business, let them receive a miracle, Lord God, that will glorify your name in their business. I bless them, and I bless them, and I declare, and I decree a shift coming into this business. I declare that every spirit of failure, every spirit, Lord God, of foreclosure, every spirit, Lord God, of division, of failure, I break this thing off, this man, this woman, and I speak victory into this business supernatural turnover supernatural miracle coming into this business in your precious mighty name lord god i bless this man i bless this woman i ask lord god that everything that they are standing for everything that they're believing for today let it come into their hands for the glory of your name father god i declare and i decree that today is the day of this man this woman's victory today Hey, Lord God, they will glorify your name in your precious mighty name. I bless them. I bless them and let this testimony, Lord God, bring glory, Lord God, to your name. I bless them in your precious mighty name. 
Amen. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, receive your miracle. I declare that your miracle, the miracle that you have asked the Lord for, is coming into your life. Is coming even today. Receive by faith. Stand in the promise of God. Don't doubt the promises of the Lord. Amen. I bless you. It's been such a great honor and a great blessing to be able to pray and to stand with you again. I would ask you, if you have been blessed by this video, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share with your friends and family. Amen. I love you. God bless you. Have a great day. And don't forget, the best days of your life is still ahead of you as you continue to surrender your life to the will of God. I love you. God bless you. Bye for now.